who I am right now, I know. But who I am before, I don't know. I don't know my name, I don't know family, I don't know my mother, I don't know my age. Everyone called me Somali, but Somali that I tell you is not my real name. My personal mission is to fight against child exploitation, women and children exploitation. I'm the mother and the grandmother of all the suffering girls who have been sex slaves in Cambodia. My mission is helping the victim to be a survivor. Give to them what they need give them happiness, love them, save them, give them opportunity going to school, helping them to find a job, working. That is so important. And then one thing that I really want I want to empower the survivors to stand up and say no, if they want to say no. Somali has a center in Kampong Cham, uh, in a rural area. She thinks the girls are more protected than they would be in a bigger city. So first of all, I want kids to become kids again. Kids need to love him, need to be kids back. Take makeup, makeup off, take lipstick off. And then also, they are Cambodian, they have to be nature. It's like this, so they're going fishing, they're going to find the crab, they're going to, you know, not fair, not stressed. So they feel more comfortable in the village. Oh, I see the girls. They go to school, they make They're all in their uniforms, school them. uniforms. Oh, oh, oh so gosh. cute. <laughs> oh, this that. is so cute. We're at Somali Mom's home for about 78 girls who she's reintegrating into the world from a life in the brothels. The library downstairs. We have the English class. And the English class. Yes. And where do you sleep? Up here? Yeah, I sleep here. Uh-huh. Yes. And is the water right there? Yes. Make that one I tell you. It's been so three years old. Nearly one year with me. Wow. She's still very traumatized. And where, where was she rescued from? She's um, from Pukyam. But from a brothel or from... From a brothel. Surely She's... she wasn't seeing customers at age two. No, she had been raped and then her mother don't want her. So she bring her to the brothel, to sold her to the brothel owner. And then um, after the police give us information about her, so we go and then save her. <laughs> Somali at the center would do some goofy thing wow. and then they would so easily laugh and they're all running about and fussing and they want to show you every little thing and <laughs> they were so proud. It makes you feel great actually. It's often hard for these girls to put their past into words. But somehow in a song, it's a little bit easier. And most of the girls have their own song that they have written to express their story. Other girls know them by heart and they sing together.
to say how hard it is to be a kid. I'm just four years old, and they sold me in the brochure. And I don't know nothing about the life mean, and they destroyed my life. And they're beating me, hitting me all the time. They forced me to have sex, like I'm an uh, adult. And I want my mother to come and help me. Where is she? Why she let me alone? I've never heard a story like that from, from a little girl. You can't come up with something more beautiful than a young, innocent girl. And to inflict that experience on that, on that human being is unspeakably cruel. Now my life is does it remind you of your own, of yourself as a kid? All of them. Samali and her organization, Afsi, are intended to help girls who are rescued from the brothels. And then they emerge as these remarkable young women who are still rejected by their families and by societies because they have this past in a brothel, but are amazingly talented. And they emulate Somali, and they want to be like her. And so she's created a little army of these Voices of Change girls. จ้าថ្ងៃនេះសម្រាប់គេខ្លាំងមែនតែដែលបាននាំមកជួបជុំជាមួយពូពូទាំងអស់គ្នាដែលមានពូពូនៅខាងតុកតុកនៅខាងម
chặn sau nơi tục không đây p hay kia tha tục p ao mà tật làm mây mà ra chật tụ nhiều nhôm nợ nhôm ắt rôm tụ nhiều kê có vay hay kê chọn sai phương hay kê ở bài nhà mì hay kê nơi ơi nhôm tụ nhiều rồi ngày mà thay mà thay hay nhôm nơi khuyên đọc một hơi nè xăm sức nè bê nâng bố ấy kê tư kê đẹp ra xong hay việc có nhôm miên tí phù bê dỗ cô nâng chênh hơi Vì hô chìa ngồi vì chú chạp bê Nói đi bố không nói đi Nói đi bố ngại chân Cảm ơn chú lại Cảm ơn chú 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 Đọc bê chân em Đăng bàn này bố Ở đây Đăng kệ bàn chạp kê gọt bàn đây Kê gọt bàn Chàng bởi nhóm viên tiền của vật chặn này mình muốn hay bê cái bê thời trên liên liên vẫn chặn thời liên một ngày một bẹt mày ở đây cái đào bông mau ấy cái tụt bông trào này nè tụt tụt bông hô chim như nào ok nó tụt bông từ tụt nhiều này hay thua mà nào ở đây đang sao phải nhiều sự gầm mấy cô viết tờ hồ cho viết mình khó vì dân chữ hồ chim ấy mày này bây bạn bật lên chọc tờ lên cái sờ tờ cái chọc tờ cái chạp nó cái chạp bông á cô cái vô bông mò đạn nè hay khoai khóc này nhanh chân nó bông nó hằng ngày đập bê nhưng tới kia cũng khoai khóc này nhanh chân hết chưa ấy ở phục mình ai bỏ dương đâu có chọc xà lan dương này có lấy xà lan dương đây xa tại dương màu vĩnh dương ở bên cục lại cái này hay dương xong cua là câu chúng cất mò ở đường này nhưng vậy mà I don't know talk I remember the man who came to help me find my family. When we arrived in his house, he took me as a child labor. But I remember he's always touching my body. And then he raped me. I don't have no notion about rape, about sex. I never heard that. I just know that he made me very painful. So he turned me to the sex slave and then he sold me to the brothel. So I don't know, maybe I'm 13 or 12, I don't know exactly. I was so scared and then the whole night they just raped me, raped me one by one. How many clan? I never count, I don't care, I don't count. Sometimes when I got sick, I just like lift shoes. I've been beating all the time. I'm soft, but I'm very strong. When I don't want something, I don't want it. So you can beat me as like blood come out of my skin. I don't want it. I don't want it, I don't want it. You can kill me, I don't want it. Sometimes I just tell myself why I need to be hitting or beating, you know? Because I feel slave, so I hate my body. Because my body will bring me like bad luck. So I just want to punish myself too. The brothel owner had to destroy these girls. They destroyed me. They destroyed another girl. They destroyed everyone. <laughs> 